appreciate it. All right, our next comic, along with Lucia, they run their own show at the Pocket every Wednesday night. In Santa Cruz, give it enough for Mikey Gordon. Coming up here and doing comedy in the Blue Lagoon, just like my sex life. I'm gonna give you the best three and a half minutes I got. And it probably ain't gonna be shit. Satisfies me though. I'm here to let you guys know anybody over 30 years old that has a backpack, either is mentally challenged or is here to sell you weed. And I'm not trying to give it away, I'm just here to let you know that my IQ is six digits. I'm selling weed. Okay, that was the weed thing. They say you can tell a lot about a person whether they're a Coke or a Pepsi person. And I didn't think this was true. So I saw this guy snorting Pepsi. And I was like, I'm not like that. I'm not gonna like this idiot, you know? The fucking idiot. Anybody got that creepy uncle? I got a creepy uncle. You know, I like to combine those words. I just call him Crunkle, you know? Crunkle. He's one of those racist old uncles set in his ways, you know? We were sitting at a family function, somebody called him a misogynist, right? And he was like, misogynist? Ha! I don't even give that bitch at home a back rub. Ha ha ha! I don't think you get it. Crunkle. I watch TV, I love watching TV. Uh, I was confused by the show Ice Road Truckers, you know, because I know ice is a slang street word for methamphetamine, right, you know? So when I tuned into Ice Road Truckers, I thought I was gonna see meth road truckers, you know? So I'm like, <laughs> we gotta go 637 miles, we got two hours to get down, let's go, yeah! So I thought I was gonna see, you know? But it did, it was just ice road truckers. You know, if, if it was meth road truckers, you know, they could have just shortened it and called it truckers. <laughs> Man, uh, a friend of mine had a birthday, a long, long time friend of mine, you know, and I was like, hey, Billy, what do you want me to get you for your birthday? You know, he was one of those people who's like, uh, I don't know, I kind of have everything, you know? So it got me to thinking, you know, like I had a girlfriend this one time, I, I solved this problem, you know, because this girlfriend of mine, she had everything too. What I did is I got that bitch a shot of penicillin, cleared everything up. <laughs> no more everything. I love smoking weed. Uh, I get real high and I get these ideas. The first one was combine those two words, call them high ideas. My first high idea came at midnight. The night I thought of this, it was, it was late, right? So I love Vietnamese food, but nothing was open. I was like, somebody needs to open up a Vietnamese restaurant, never closes, call it 24-7, you know? You go pick up your weed at the Faux 20 dispensary right next door, you know? One of my Vietnamese friends goes, that's not how you pronounce it. It's pronounced pho. It's not pronounced pho. Dumb white boy. And I was like, all right, well in that case, I'll just open up the king of Vietnamese restaurants called the fucking restaurant. <laughs> I had moved to say hi two years ago today. Uh, I came to Santa Cruz for the first time on tour. Fell in love with this town, didn't know anybody here in town, but I moved here on a whim. And there's a couple things I've learned. Yeah. Don't cheer that shit. <laughs> and you live in Santa Cruz, you're probably growing it in your backyard. You don't even know. You know? Another thing I figured out is if you move to Santa Cruz and you like women, you either like hairy women or you don't like women. That's all there is out here. It's crazy. People tell me I look like Carrot Top all the time, I think that's fucked up, right? Because my mother told me, Michael, you know, yeah, Michael Patrick, because you gotta get the middle name in there, you know? Michael Patrick, when somebody calls you a Carrot Top, you tell them that the tops of carrots are green. They're not red, they're not orange. I tried that shit and I got beat up a lot. A lot, it was a lot, it was. You know, I told that joke to a gay comedian friend of mine, you know what he said to me, he goes, ooh. 
mm-mm, mm-mm. I wouldn't make you a carrot top, mm-mm. Shook his hips like that, mm-mm. It's like that. I wouldn't make you a carrot top, mm-mm. I'd make you a carrot bottom, mm-mm. You know? I thought it was cool because that's the part of the carrot I look like, the fucking bottom part, you know? Turns out... He wanted, he wanted my carrot bottom. Thank you guys for making me feel like I'm funny. My name's Mikey G. Yeah. Thank you very much. Mikey. Keep it going for a suspect number three for the Boston Marathon bombing. Remember that?